The next five years are going to be more deadly and more fearsome. This used to be happened 15 years back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the second keynote address of the day. And the topic is Vision 2025. What will a digital transformation champion look like? And our speaker is none other than the one and only Shubhabrato Chakraborty, founder and chief digital consultant, thedigitalfellow.com. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Over to you. Thank you, guys. I will not make, uh, take much time. I'll try to make it sweet, sharp. I have some visuals. I have less slides uh, and more of visuals. So this is the topic, but I'll make it simple. The topic is all about getting yourself future-proof. That's in one line. Whether you will survive digital in the next 10 to 12 years is what we are talking about. We are talking about the big leap. So I'm trying to, I'll try to demystify it and make it simple. This is what we are in right now. It is internet 0.1, 2.0, and 3.0. So the first part is all about where the Dell and the C, you know, Cisco did the physical infrastructure, which is called basically the plumbing job of internet. The second part is the Amazon, the Google, and the Facebook. They created the foundation of the internet. And the third part we are talking about 3.0 right now. We are in, we are we are almost leaving 3.0 and going to 4.0. This part is talk, we are talking about augmentation, right? So this is where we are in right now. But what is going to come in the next five to 10 years is the next graph. Before we go to the next graph, this is what the internet digital looks about. Used to crawl, we used to walk, now we are running. And after that is going to be a marathon sprint. So this, in the initial part, we spoke about we used to only see and read, and now we can actually have our own content. We used to only have home pages. Right now we have lifestyle, and we can do a live stream. Initially we used to do banner advertising, and right now we are getting into a behavioral advertising. I still know clients and brands who are still into banner advertising. So people who are doing it are going to die. This is where we are right now. 2020, we are moving towards year 4.0. 4 so this has been the leap in the last 15 years. Now what is it we are talking about? 40% of the business are going to die in the next seven to 10 years time. I see, I've been consulting, you saw my long CV, 27 years because of my load yet, you can't figure out my age. Uh, yeah, it's almost white because of my around 55 industries, around 200 brands I've been consulting, advising. I've been advising World Bank for the last six years. So different countries, different humanities, different responsibilities, different consumer behavior. I have done that. So based on that, I see 40% of business are going to die. We saw majority of the industry was dead during the COVID times, right? Here, the strongest species will actually will not survive. How strong here doesn't make sense. The intelligent will survive. I was actually meeting uh, in the last two days back, Sambal Sarah was talking in one of the conference at Santa Cruz Taj, I think three, four days back, Sam said the same thing. Many agencies are going to die. Agency, the word agency will not exist. The, he's, he, he used the word called, we, we should get into consulting. It should not be agency. Agency, uh, the way agency is working or the problem he sh showed is the same problem. Accenture, Deloitte, KPMG, Boston's of the world is actually coming and buying out agency random across the world. So it is not going to be how big you are, it is going to be how intelligent you are. The next is the average age of, age of board members. I think most of you are, I, I, the, I, the average is going to be less than 35 or 40 I see here. Most of the board members are around 50, 55. And these uh, people doesn't have a great background. They don't understand digital. That's the biggest problem of future marketing. So they're not digitally ready. They don't understand anything of digital, right? They wear a nice suit like me. They talk all about Bitcoin and enthusiasm, but you tell them what was the last time you posted on Twitter or on LinkedIn, they have not, they've forgotten the password. This is reality around 200 brands have been consulted so far. The last 10 years, IT has changed the way we have been working. And the next 10 years, IT is going to transform all our business. IT is going to transform all our business. 
whoever is in the ecosystem. It is no longer the big beating the slow. It is the smart, the fast beating the slow. This is going to happen. This is already happening across the world. Around 5%, this is a still number because I've been consulting in the APAC region, in the US, Bangladesh, entire APAC and as well as US I've been consulting. So around less than 5% of the data and analytics we see are used. In fact, uh, most of the big brands and companies don't have a data analytics person in their team. They have an IT guy, so-called IT guy, thinking they're doing analytics, right? So this, this is what is happening in the, in the ecosystem. So mostly it is driven by gut feeling and not data. Mostly people use gut feeling, they don't use data. I will, I will show you the reason why I'm, why I'm using this word. I may sound very rude, and this is because of my frustration coming out. So I'm like this, what I talk in front of client, I do the same thing in my conferences. Believe me, I talk the same thing like you know, the way I'm talking to clients. Sometimes I, it sounds insulting, but they pay me for telling the truth. Because most of them who come to me are almost on the dead state. So 30 to 20 minutes delivery, we all know. Zepto is doing 10 minutes and Instamart and all those guys are doing. What are these 10 minutes and 15 minutes? Or Domino's doing 30 minutes, what are these? By the way, also, most of you think, or most of people whom I know, they think that it is the efficiency of the you know, delivery. Nonsense, it's not. Absolutely not. It is all about data leak and data science. That 10% come from the data. It doesn't come from efficiency. It doesn't come from how, how, how many people you have in the ground and how many people are driving at what speed in the traffic. It is nothing to do with that. It is all about data and nothing to do with logistics. This is where we come from. So this is the thing which I keep saying you want to upgrade or you're going to die. Certain depth, definitely going to die. I see most of my friends and colleagues, peers who are of my age, are struggling or they're dead. Most of them don't have a job. Most of them used to be senior CEXOs and the CEOs in the ad advertising agency, marketing fraternity. I see they are now, now lonely and they, they're struggling to learn because right now, uh, during the COVID, uh, they, they try to do a lot of certifications, didn't help them. So getting a job is going to be a very, very deadly thing in the next five years' time. So the first thing, the first possible uh, advice which I give to all my clients and my, uh, you know, and most for Fortune 500 company, as well as the mediocre company, the small company, the micro companies, they don't have a mindset. They talk digital, they don't act digital, right? The next five years is going to be more deadly and more fearsome. This used to be happened 15 years back. It's going to be more deadly, it's going to be more faster. I will tell you, uh, may, may, I, I see a lot of friends um, in, the, in, the, in my, I see a few of my friends sitting here as well as they are from the, you guys are from the agency, I can figure out. I will tell you something is that AI have killed many jobs. I don't know how many copywriter and content writers sitting in this room. I think they are not here. If they are here, God help you, copywriting has gone. Copy, you don't need a copywriter. You, need, you, you just need two software, entire copywriting team, content team. In my company also is not there. It's all written by AI software, designing, copywriting, SEO. No code culture has come, which means you don't need to know anything of coding on website. Just drag drop and your website is done. And the complex is to be easy now. The complex is going to be easy right now. It's because when we used to go to a new city, knowing a local driver was an advantage. Knowing a local no place who knows everything was an advantage, now you don't need. Google tells you everything. Google map tells you everything. Google also tell you where, which food, what to go, everything. So complexity is going to die. It's already dead by now. So how to survive? These are the few tips which will help you to do transformation. Focus on these few points. Hope it helps you. And this is what I've been doing. If you want to be alive for the next 10 years, be your CXO or a CEO, or you're going to be a CEO, or you're going to be a VP, in the next 10 years, people, process, and technology, the three things which are going to change. If you're not focusing on, I can see most of the, you guys are not CXO, I can see from your face, few of maybe one or two are on the senior level. But if you are not in the part of this uh, changing, which is happening within the company, if you're not a part of people, process, and technology, uh, you're not going to survive, right? So most CXOs and the CEO and the top people, they hire software. They hire people, but they don't have people, they don't have a process to run it. So if you, they, they generally try to, you know, delegate, you know, this guy will do CAC, you know, uh, content, this guy will do analytics. But if you're not a part of this journey, none, I have not seen much people or much companies, large companies I'm talking about, huh? not small companies. I'm talking about average companies whose turnover more than 1,000 crore. I'm talking about that. 
or 500 code upwards, they don't have a digital culture. They don't, still their life is on Excel. Still they have, really, they have salesmen. By the way, I don't have a single salesman in my team. For the last six years still I started my company, I don't have a single salesman. People are right, right now is to, you know, they still work with me. People are sitting here, a few of, the, of these people are my colleague. I never hired them. I don't have the CV. They all came and joined me. Clients come and join me. Clients say, because they all find me. So I get discovered in my visiting card. If I if I, I gave you one of one of to my uh, one of my friend here, I don't have a single number, email address, phone number, nothing, nothing in my business card because I get found in 0.45 second. If your network is more or less stable, if you're not found, you're dead. So I see this is happening. I just now while coming uh, while coming to the venue, one of my senior CXO, I can't tell you, she is a very good friend. She said, "Why do I got a new client in Jamshedpur and?" And Kolkata, can you get a guy who will work on a fintech, 15,000 rupees salary, and he should be a good learner, he should learn everything on the job. Doing a job, you are hiring an MHA to do a skill job. So this is what is happening. I see big companies who hire the cheapest. So what happens when a, a son or a daughter is born in our family? Do we look for the cheapest food around, the cheapest school around, the cheapest clothes around? But when it comes to brand, we look for the cheapest people around. This is a mindset. And that's the reason most of the companies are dying. It will die faster in the next five years' time. So if you want to be relevant for the 20, 20, 30, or whatever you call it, you should act now. Digital transformation is no longer an option. It's a necessity, and it's, it's going to change the way you do business. It is also going to change the way you look for a job. It is also going to change the way you go and interview. It's all going to change everything around you. So 40, 40, 45% of these jobs have already started vanishing. The sad part, copywriter or the content people, the analytics, still they're holding their degree thinking, no, no, nothing is going to happen. The, just the way Kodak vanished, just the way many companies vanished, because they were strong, head on, no, no, I will not change. People believe in picture, they don't need a camera, they don't need a you know, digital camera, they're all out, swiped out. So I call these three type of people, digital ignorant, digital poor, and digital rich. When I say rich, poor, ignorant, it's nothing to do with money, it's all about knowledge. If you're digitally rich, which is you have a digital knowledge, you don't have a digital knowledge, or you're absolutely ignorant. So, so I will not talk more, it's been elaborated all on my, uh, on my blogs, which I'm going to share, you can come and read. So I did one thing, this may scare all of you here, I picked up 500 candidates on the LinkedIn based on their digital manager, digital executive, so all digital CMOs, and I actually traveled their footprint because in digital, nothing, in my, my audit, audit team is very dangerous. They can figure out everything about you, even if you have not put everything on, on, on your CV. I mean, we figure out that 80% to 70% people are fake. The report is coming. Without naming people, I'm going to tell the entire community, people manipulate, they don't understand anything of digital. They fake digital. Because what we did, imagine this guy works as a CMO, in his CV and his LinkedIn he says that, I am a CMO over a 20 years or 15 years experience, I'm a, a great, you know, I understand digital, but, but when we saw his company, when we audited his, how many companies we have audited this much? I think people who are sitting here, I already audited your, your company. You're not beyond this. Thousand brands we have audited, out of that, 75 industries we have audited. The average digital health is not even 25. You want to see which industry? Come to my website, go and these are the blogs I have written. Come and read, all free on LinkedIn or on my website. It's getting uploaded, you can come and see on LinkedIn. If you want to come to my Instagram, you will be able to find all these things in a smaller curated content. So, so what I mean to, what I mean here is that if you are not learning, you're going to vanish. So come to my website, all articles, advices, blogs are free. Learn if you want to survive. I think that's over. Come and say hi to my website. Thank you so much.